The Amawa Youth Campaign is a health promotion initiative of the OCI Foundation. It is targeted against breast and cervical cancers and aims to introduce the teachings against these cancers into the curriculum of the high schools in Nigeria and secondary schools. The idea is to have this phased out from one state to another over the next five to six years, starting from Anambra State in southeastern Nigeria from the year 2019. The OCI Foundation has hitherto been at the vanguard of health promotion campaigns against these cancers and has held annual symposia from 2017 till date. However, given the evaluations of our activities, it became obvious that we have to find a better way of doing things and the results of our peer-reviewed publications has shown us that a rethink in how things are done will be the key to saving millions of lives, not just in Nigeria, but in all developing countries around the world that do not have government-sponsored preventive programs against the two cancers. As such, we paid visits to stakeholders in health and education in an umbrella state of Nigeria. So what you find here is the meeting with the Honorable Commissioner for Basic Education, Professor Kato Menova, on Thursday, April the 25th, 2019. At the meeting, the Honorable Commissioner pledged the support of the government and her ministry to the OCA Foundation and gave us the all clear to proceed with initiating this curriculum change. She gave us a week to get things going and promised that the state government would be with us every inch of the way because they understand the need and the importance of what this foundation is doing. Among the delegation of the OCA Foundation was the barrister in charge our legal advisor, Barristan Yechionone, who led the delegation. We also have Lady Joy Olas, the immediate past chairman of the Post-Primary Secondary Schools Commission in Anambra State, who doubles as the champion of the Amawa Youth Campaign. Then we went over to see the Honorable Commissioner for Health, Dr. Joa Kawike. Mm -hmm. This was on Friday, April 26, 2019, and among the delegation this time was Dr. Chomai Ezenyemolo, the Executive Secretary of the Primary Health Care Development Agency in the state of Nigeria. We also have in the team of the OCI Foundation, Mrs. Imelda Emeka who is the Domestic License Officer of the OCI Foundation. There was also Mrs. Ifoma Ifedia, who is the Administrative Officer of the OCI Foundation. And we also have Dr. Emmanuel Azuike, a consultant public health physician, who consults for the OCI Foundation, and is the Deputy Chairman Medical Advisory Committee of the Chukwemeko Domego Chuku University, Oka, Anambra State. Also in the OCA Foundation's team was Shide Maumerka for a volunteer and an ardent follower of the OCA Foundation. The events were covered by gentlemen from the press, both the print and electronic media, and we expect to have the events reported in multiple media outlets in Nigeria. The OCA Foundation is endorsed by the Harvard Medical School and is backed by evidence from peer-reviewed publications and empirical research. If implemented as planned, it is expected to touch millions of lives in ways that will be sustainable, that will be cost-effective, that will be all-encompassing and wide-reaching. The ultimate winners and not just the women in Nigeria or the developing countries that will benefit. The ultimate winners include everyone. Everyone because the men that will marry the women and the children they will give birth to 
will at least have a measure of support, you know, given that the women will hopefully live longer with higher quality lives and healthier lives. Among the winners are also the institutions and the communities where these women will function and the people that will employ them. 